Hello channel friends. Today I'm bringing you a video of a very special uh, item I ordered off of Amazon. And this is the Cold Steel GS18758 Vietnam Tomahawk. Where do I take this thing out of the sheath? This is really awesome. But first we'll get to some specs. Its weight is 19.7 ounces. The primary edge is two and three quarter inches. The head length is eight and a half inches. Get ready to show you a few things here. The hawk length is eight and a half inches, but overall is 13 and a half inches. Give you a little peek. Oh yeah. Oh yes. It is drop forged 1055 carbon and I did some research on that and that is some really good carbon steel. The handle is American Hickory. And it has a really nice leather sheath. And I got it off Amazon like I said for uh, 39 bucks plus the shipping so not a bad deal. Let's take this bad boy out. Here's a really cool nice sheath that comes with it. It's from as you can see the American Tomahawk Company. It's well riveted and it's really nice thick quality leather. It's not some cheap junk. I got my Vietnam display today, as you can see from uh, my little patches, Vietnam boonie hat, and my other hat. If you ever watch uh, some of the Vietnam movies, you'll see this one. Of course, it doesn't have the uh, POW MIA logo. I added that on myself. But let's get to the meat and potatoes. Look at this axe. The blade, right out of the box, is pretty sharp. It's not like a razor blade, but an axe isn't really designed to be quite like that. Look at the sweep on that. That is some piercing power right there. Sealed up real good. It's really good quality. Here's the other end. This is the business point. Now this is an authentic replica of the tomahawks that were carried by the U.S. troops during the Vietnam War. Now this isn't a genuine one. Like I said, this is a, a replica of what they had. You're not going to, I don't know if you can even find any more out there. If you do, they'd be a preacher's fortune to try to purchase. There's a nice handle on it. It was designed by Peter Lagana. After a lifetime of armed combat and months and months of designing and testing to perfect this tomahawk. He went to a lot of trouble to get this down just right. Now one of my neighbors is a Vietnam vet and I brought him over to show it to him and he said he gave him a cold chill because it took him back to his days in the Nam back when he was out in country and they carried the, these things. They're good for cutting down foliage and pretty much any type of self-defense. This copy is light enough to be carried all day long without having any uh, major fatigue. It's not, it's, it's, it looks a lot heavier than what it is. It's actually fairly light for a weapon this size. Now in combat the lightness translated into speed this thing is light enough to do any kind of chopping with it. I'm not going to do it on my own table, of course. Then what am I going to display anything with, right? The blade of the hawk offers a wide, upswept primary edge for tremendous cutting and slashing. And they're not kidding. Look at this. When this thing pierces, it's going to go straight through some serious wood or anything else that it hits. The secondary edge of the head is heavily curved and partially sharpened 
for both a cutting and a hooking attack. You see, just like that. It's got a V-shaped spike, of course. And there's a few videos out. One's actually done by Cold Steel, and I'm going to leave uh, a directions to their little video. They've got this thing doing some serious damage to a lot of things that uh, I don't have a, too much access to. They got some 50 gallon drums that they just demolish in the, the hood of a car that they chop through with uh, absolutely no trouble at all. This is one of the nastiest weapons I've ever seen. This thing is extreme, would be extremely intimidating to other people. I'm going to give you a real nice close view of it. Try to get the light to not reflect too much. It's got the powder coating on it. Handle set in real well. There you go. That is a serious tip on that dude. There. Roll it over. Like I said, when they showed him using it on a uh, the hood of a car in a barrel, it, it, it goes right through it like, it like it's a hot knife going into butter. Now, it is made in Taiwan, so don't, don't get your hopes up for an American-made one yet. Maybe someday someone will get get their stuff together and manufacture this in the USA. It's got a nice up, whoops, up sweep. I'm working around the tripod here so sorry about that. And we'll give you a, so we can get you a nice little close-up. There we go. Excellent. That is one mean hacking machine. If you're out looking for a tomahawk for yourself, self-defense, or just to hang on the wall and say, I've got one, this is the way to go. Check one of these out. It's a bad boy looking thing. Quality leather sheath. Quality X makes a quality purpose purchase. This is W. Copeland 38 saying, check one out, and I'm a gone.